everyone and welcome to this video and if you're new welcome to my channel today in this video we're going to try a new makeup brand that I've never tried before I, I didn't even heard about them so I'm very interested and curious to see how these products will work if you want to see what products I'm talking about please keep on watching well if you're new to my channel I would love if you subscribed and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of my other uploads and today I'm going to talk about uh, some new products. Now I ordered this for maybe a week ago and it arrived very fast. This is, I think it's called Find It Online. And I saw a couple of eyeshadow, pal eyeshadow palettes that looked beautiful on the website. And I'm going to put, when I'm, show when I'm showing you the products, I'm going to put the price in Swedish and in dollars, how much it costs those, these products. But this is, I think it's a drugstore brand. And this is a IDC color, or ID color makeup. I've never heard about this brand before. This is a Spanish brand. And I tried to see a couple of reviews. I didn't really understand a lot of them because the most of them were in Spanish. So I didn't understand a lot. But there, there weren't so many videos about this brand so I was kind of curious to see because they were very affordable I was curious to see how these products work and how they are now their palettes were beautiful I mean I had very hard time to choose which one I will buy and I I fortunately couldn't buy all of them because I ordered a couple of other products that I want to review on my channel so I couldn't actually order all of the palettes but I did order one and it's not my favorite colors, but I don't have anything similar to it. So that's why I ordered it. And I ordered this IDC color makeup daily look eye eyeshadows. It's called, this is a palette daily look. And it's metallic. If you can see, I really love roses. Roses is my favorite flowers. And it feels a little bit, I have to say cheap, this package. It feels cheap, but I'm all about the product. So. This is how this palette looks in when you open it. There is a mirror. Now it's not the best mirror ever, but look at the shades. Let me remove this. And I'm actually going to let me take off this. And I and I'm actually going to swatch a couple of these just to show you. There are a lot of pinky shades. Now pink is not my favorite. Sh uh, favorite color I do wear pink clothes but it's not my favorite color and uh, I don't have a lot of pink eyeshadows so that's why I purchased this one now no, that looks nice the pigmentation looks nice I have to say let me take another darker shade this one see how this one swatches a little bit chalky I have to say Definitely going to be some fallouts, but not bad. I had to say really not bad Let's see this brown. Wow, the swatches are beautiful, but we have to see how these are going to work on my eyes And I, I like I said the packaging looks cheap. It doesn't look very High-end and the mirror is not the best mirror in the world, but of course you can use it and uh, The shades are nice. Their shades are beautiful. So I'm definitely going to make up to create a makeup makeup look with this palette okay so i wanted to try other products and the product i showed you before this is three contour sticks and this is creamy contours so i really want to see how these will blend they look very nice and also i got idc color smoothing primer hd high definition face primer also I also got this uh, bron bronzer face and body the packaging is cute a little bit big but there it comes with a mirror and uh, this is the bronzer and of course you have this sponge so you can uh, use it all over the body I'm not going to use this one but this uh, let me swatch it it feels nice and soft Swatch it here, and the color it's not bad. It's, it's a little bit warm, but I'm definitely curious to see how this will perform on my skin. And also the two last products or I bought is these two 
eyebrow pencils. Now I bought two shades. One is 03 chocolate brown and uh, the other one is 04 brown. Now, I don't know if you can see it. I did open these. I didn't swatch them, but I did, did open these. And I have to say, like the packaging is not bad. On one side there is a spoolie, not the best spoolie ever, but there is a spoolie. And the other side is this product. It's kind of diamond shade. I'm going to show you that one. So this one is number four and this one is number three. So three, four. Number four and number three. And this is how the pen, this one looks, it's fully. And the product looks like this. see this is how much the product you get okay so I'm definitely going to try these I don't know really which one I think I'm going to have number three in the beginning and number four at this side of my eyebrow but we'll see and I just realized that I forgot to take off my brow product so I'm going to use do that and I did use the eyeshadow primer that I always use and that I know how it performs with my other eyeshadows. So I do already have that on my eyelids. So I have to be careful when I remove this. And I already have uh, my moisturizer on. So I'm going to try this product first. And this is IDC Color Face Primer. And this is High Definition Primer. So. What is this? Okay, so it's oh, spits out. It's pink. That's interesting. It's very pink. I don't know if you can see it on camera, but it's very pink. Mm. God, it smells. I know, like doesn't smell so strong. Now the smell disappeared, so that's good. Okay, let me see how the... Okay, I look pink all over my face, but it feels mattifying, and it feels very nice. I really like the feeling. It doesn't feel heavy at all, so that's good. Ah, it looks like it might minimize my pores a little bit. That's good also. So far, so good, but we'll see how this will work under my foundation okay and I already like I said have eyeshadow primer on and the eyeshadow primer on that I have is my Smashbox 24 hours photo finish and over that I have this Lancome's La Base uh, nude uh, eyeshadow base so I have a combination of these two on my eyelids because I use them all the time and I know how my eyeshadows act on them with this so I'm, I think I'm going to use fix try these eyebrow pencils now so I'm going to take number three and number three is number three is chocolate brown I'm going to use the spoolie let me zoom you in a little bit now you can see a little bit better so I have the spoolie is not bad but this looks gray really okay let's see let's go in This shade is a little bit off. It looks like it's not really a right shade for me. Okay, I think I'm going to go into the number four brown and see if that shade works a little bit better. I actually really like this eyeshadow, eyeshadow re this eye, uh, eyebrow pencil. 
I have to say that I really really like how how soft and smooth and very easy it is to use and how it looks so I do like this product I really do I think it looks good okay let's move on so now I do have the primer and it dried it doesn't it feels a little bit sticky but not at all too much so I'm going to use my favorite uh, eye cushion foundation and this is Lava Art compact cushion foundation and I love this foundation and I know how this works on my skin so that's why I'm going to use it so I didn't saw any foundation from this brand so so I have to say that my foundation went on beautifully over this primer and I can really say that my uh, pores are less visible now I do see them they're not gone but they are less visible and I did yeah I, I kind of like this primer I really do so I hope I hope it will stay good the rest of the day okay so now before I go in with no concealer I really want to see how these three contour sticks work so I do have my beauty sponge ready so let's open this oh you open it like this nice comes in a little case the first thing that I can see is that this looks matte but these two look shimmery I don't know if you can see it and I don't want my contour to be shimmer so let's go try to do swatch of this first one Ooh, it's creamy and it looks nice so the first white one is this one and it's very creamy the second one this darker it looks shimmery down here but actually it's matte and it looks very nice creamy let's see the third shade this one is a little bit lighter and warmer this one isn't bad either it's a little bit more like orangey shade so not really my top cup of tea but yeah I know we'll see they do look shim shimmery down oh wait look what I realized that's nice let's see how much product you get here oh you get a lot of product in here not bad okay so far so nice really like the swatches they feel creamy but we'll see how they perform on my skin so I'm not going to use any concealers I'm actually going to use this one instead be careful first see how and then let's go with this light one a little bit thick but we'll see So you probably hear my children playing downstairs. They play a lot, but they are so loud sometimes. Very loud. Okay, I'm not going to use this shade here, the lighter brown, because it looks a little bit orangey and I don't like that. So let's blend and see how this will... Okay, so this blended very nice and it's I think it's a nice shade. Let's see if it's buildable. So it builds up very nice, very it's easy, it's buildable and it's easy to blend. I do like this. Let's blend let's blend the rest of it this. Okay, so I uh, think this product it's not bad actually. Do I prefer the brown uh, dark contour bit more than this light. I but it did make my under eyes a little more brighter, brighter, and it looks a little bit. Um, it's not matte, so if you like this kind of finish, uh, that's good. Doesn't have any shimmer, but it kind of. Uh, I know it looks a little bit shiny but actually I do like it and it doesn't look heavy it doesn't feel at all on my skin so that's good 
So where is I'm going to set everything with my remote stay matte powder because I know how this powder works on my skin. So let's set everything and that eyeshadow base I forgot to set with the powder too. So take away a little bit of the shyness. So I have to say that I really like these contour sticks. Now they're not uh, the white one is not very pigmented, but it is nice and very easy to blend. Now we are going to go into this bronzer and I'm actually going to take my favorite bronze, uh, bronzing brush and dip into this and go a little bit with a light hand because it is a little bit on the warm side. I think it's a nice bronzer. It's not really my favorite shade. It is a little bit darker on my, not darker, but warm on my skin. And I know. Uh, it kind of looks like it blended nice. A little bit streaky here, but it's okay bronzer if you like these kind of shades i think this is because it's affordable it's not bad but it's a little bit warm for my skin but i know we'll continue to use it to see if i it doesn't look bad so i don't have a blush but we are not going we are going to take that later let's go into this palette so i don't know what name of the shades are it, they don't have a light highlighting shade so I can have all over my eyes but I think I'm going to create a purple not purple pink so I'm going to go into this shade here this one in my crease okay so I don't have a darker pink shade that's really strange if you see I only have like two matte shades and it's this one the pink one and this the purple one so I'm um, okay let's see what we can do here okay then uh, I have to go into this purple shade for some reason it doesn't want to show up on my eyelid as purple as it was or as it is in the pan unfortunately but we're going to work with it Anyways, go back into that light peak. So I'm going to take this shade here, detailed blending brush. It is shimmery, but this one is not bad at all. I like this one. Um, they do have other palettes with more matte shades, so definitely you you'll need another palette to kind of be able to create a whole look if you don't like shimmery shades or satin shades in the crease but this one this shade is not bad and it blends nice i mean the old shades blend beautifully very easy this one is very pigmented also and it's look it looks nice but it is a little bit shimmery and i don't like that not that I don't like that, that, but I don't like using that for this purpose, the shimmery shades, but it's not bad. Okay, let's, uh, oh, what shade are we going to have all over Chris? I think I'm going to go in with this pink shade all over my eyelid, and I'm actually going to use my finger. Oh, this one was, oh, this one was beautiful. This shade is nice. I mean, I really like this shade on my eyelids. Doesn't look bad. Really doesn't look bad. I do like this. But I do want to make my crease a little bit dark. So I'm going to go into this pink again. The only matte pink in here. And take it a little bit higher. And then go into this 
matte purple again so back in detail but with that T shade here again uh, I don't like when they don't have name of the eyeshadows I want to dip this up a little bit more so I'm going to take this dark purple here with the same brush so I'm going to take a little bit more of this pink shade just to wow I mean wow I mean this looks very nice and I'm going to take my pinky and go into this white shade the first one so I'm going to use this brush that, that comes with it and I'm kind of like to take this pink that we had in our crease uh, So I'm going to take a detail brush and take this dark purple shade here. I really like how this makeup look turned out. I really like how this primer looks on my skin. Right now my makeup foundation looks very nice. Eyeshadows I'm very surprised. They are pigmented, couple of them, not all of them. But this bright purple and or bright pink and dark purple that I had down here, it's beautiful. Uh, right now I do like it. It's let me show you 1303 so I'm going away right now. I'm a little bit in a hurry But I will check in later after a couple of hours and tell you my full thought Okay, hi everyone now it's 11 past 8 we just came home and let me see how this makeup looks. Let me take off my glasses Okay <clears throat> I am a little bit shiny now the foundation has worn off down here but I was touching my face a lot and uh, mascara did transfer a little bit but that's but this part here doesn't look cakey at all I do look shiny but I'll always look shiny after a couple of hours so that's it doesn't matter what kind of uh, primer I use I always get shiny but I have to say, I really like this primer and I'm definitely going to keep on using it. I think it's a nice primer and uh, my makeup is still on around my nose and that's nice. It's still there on my forehead, didn't set into my fine lines, doesn't look cakey under my eyes. I really like that. Um, so that's very good product. I'm happy. I'm going to put the information down below. Uh, about every product and the website where you can purchase it and then the eyebrows look beautiful so they look beautiful I can't complain about that like I said the number three it's a kind of odd sh shade for me but I try to use it maybe again I don't know I'm not a big fan of number t three but the four it lo looks beautiful and very easy to use now the eyeshadows they did start to crease a little bit, but I had this eyeshadow on for seven hours, so that's a long time. And most of my eyeshadows do start creasing that around that time. But I can really say it looks intense, still looks nice and blended around on my eyes. And it's still a little bit intense, so I do like that. I'm very surprised how this worked and how easy they were to build up. Now, I didn't play with all the shades, I did play a cup with a couple of them, so this pink here it's not as pigmented but it's no not the shimmer this one it's not as intense and maybe does doesn't show up so much on my eyes also this one the matte one and there are not a lot of matte shades I think three I think the black the purple and the pink is matte the all others are shimmery so I do like this palette and definitely want you make do a makeup look with these brown copper shades down here and this gold one in here looks beautiful so I'm definitely going to continue play with it because this did look nice like the packaging I don't like I mean it, the mirror it's not the best it looks very weird and the packaging feels 
kind of cheap but and it looks cheap in here too the packaging that the shades are pressed into so uh, but I do like this kind of packaging it's firm and it's kind of a nice palette to travel with so I do like it I really like the shades uh, they look beautiful I can't say how all sh shadows are going to perform on the eyes but this one this one these two a little bit of I think which one did I use again yeah this white those shades performed very nice on my eyes and they look beautiful now I can't say how the others are going to work but I'm going to play more with this I do like it I'm surprised I didn't thought that I would like it as much as I did so I'm surprised now this bronzer though I have to say it was a wrong shade for color for me but it's still on my skin I still can see a little bit of that bronzer I did forget to put some um, blush on my face today but um, it worked fine it's a nice bronzer I will, and I will use it but it's not my favorite please let me know down below if you want me if you want me to do more of these kind of videos then I try a couple of products from my special brand and please let me know what brand do you want me to try out and review for you guys but yeah I'm very surprised with this uh, IDC color makeup I will definitely check out the other eyeshadows because I did like this one a couple of others eyeshadow palettes that caught my eye and I didn't get them so yeah we'll definitely check them out I'll put link down below and all the information down below so please subscribe to my channel if you already haven't thank you so much for watching and see you in my next video bye